Hi, welcome to the fourth tutorial on making a virtual cluster using VirtualBox and Scientific Linux. Uh, in the previous one, we successfully set up DHCP and bound it to the DNS service so that whenever you add a new node, the node file, well, the um, DNS service automatically sets the host name. Now, if it should happen that you accidentally change an IP for a node, that update should change it should show in the DNS immediately as well. So in this one I will be covering password this SSH, NAT, and if I have time I will set up an NFS folder. So password this SSH is done using SSH keys. So on your head node type SSH keygen. Uh, if you leave the file, it will. If you leave it blank, it will save to the default file at um, your home folder .ssh, which is fine. You don't need a passphrase, and it's finally created. So if you do a min s min all, you'll see a .ssh folder. So cd .ssh. If we ls here, you'll see a new few new files, the IDRSA, IDRSA pub, and known hosts. The important file here is the IDRSA.pub file. Well, yes, okay. So you want to m copy this one, the IDRSA.pub, to authorized keys authorized keys I think okay so it is authorized keys if you try to SSH into the master uh, from master into master now you will not have to enter a password like you used to so to get this set up on the nodes as well you will need to install um, a few things on the nodes um, like open SSH so I'm just going to SSH into node 01 enter my little password and then yum install min y open SSH um, and let's install the NFS utils as well all the open SSH things, packets. Uh, while this is running, I'm just in the background logging into node 2 and running the same command. So I suggest you install it on node 2 as well. You should probably install Vim as well, which I just skipped in that one. Or Nano or whatever text editor you prefer to use. Oh, of course. So before we can actually do this, we will need to enable port forwarding in on the head node so that the nodes can access the network through the head node, the internet through the net head node. So while yum is being retarded, I'm just going to pause the video. So yum finally finally, finally figured out that cancel means cancel. Um, I'm just going to go back to the head node. To enable port forwarding, you need to echo, you need to see what is in um, the proc sys net IP version 4 IP forward file. It should be zero. <coughs> Excuse me. So we want to echo one into this file to enable port forwarding. And then we have to edit the IP tables to enable port forwarding as well. 
Ah, what am I doing? So to add um, the port forwarding to the IP tables, we flush the IP tables first. Now some of this is redundant and unnecessary, but it does help sometimes. So flush the NAT table and flush the mangle table. Okay. So services IP tab tables save services service then service IP tables restart okay so then we add IP tables to table NAT a post reading option on the public Ethernet interface in in this case it's ETH1 and it is a masquerade so service IP tables save service IP tables restart service not survey Okay, well, flashing the table cleared out the NFS, ah, not NFS, DNS settings we had earlier. So you should just copy them in again or not flash the whole table. So there's that. And then service IP tables restart. Okay, the port forwarding should work now, so let's just test from node 1, ping google.com. Okay, port forwarding works, so we can retry that yum earlier, let's just add vim there. And do it on the other node as well. Okay, while this up updates, I'm just going to pause recording. I'll just quickly mention why NAT is important for a cluster. By only having the head node connected to a public network, you increase the security for the cluster. Because this allows. Uh, you to hide the IP range of the private network and it also hides the um, potential firewall holes that you have for running applications on your cluster it hides the nodes themselves from the internet from direct access from the internet and it gives you the ability to have only one public IP for your whole cluster Okay, so Yum finally finished installing, so you can get back to uh, setting up the bossless SSH on the nodes. So just log in back into node 1, and you'll see that there isn't a um, .ssh folder if you do an ls. So just SCP recursively, um, the master colon slash root slash dot ssh into the current folder then yes type in your password and it copies over the files so now you'll see the dot ssh folder if you do an lsman a so uh, if you go into the folder you'll see all the files that you generated on the head node so from here you can ssh directly into master without using a password and you can ssh back into node 1 without using a password as well so passwordless ssh acquired so do the same on um, node 2 just scp recursively master root 
dot ssh to the current root folder the current folder yes password and there you have it exit ssh into the second node and it's passwordless and you can also ssh between nodes without you having to use a password so uh, let's set up the NAT for this one ah not NAT NFS so on your home folder you will need to edit uh, vim slash etc slash exports now this file contains all the folders and the settings for those folders that you want to share over the network so the first one will export slash root uh, to the network 11.0.0.0/24 with the following settings between brackets. Note that there shouldn't be a space between the IP and the brackets. So the settings are async, read write, and no root squash. Then the second one will be slash home to the same network with the same settings. And then lastly, we will export the a, a new exports folder, and that will use um, the same network and same settings as the previous two. So just make the di the exports directory. And then export fs verbose all. Okay, we'll see. You see that there's a problem there with the export. I left out a comma after the read write there, so just fix that. Export again, and you'll see they all exported successfully. So, um, just start the NFS service. Uh, just NFS and then also start the RPC bind surface service NFS cannot run without RPC bind okay that started so just to test if it's working correctly um, I'm going to make a test folder and then mount the root folder into test uh, just see test is empty so mount slash uh, no, mount master root into test and it's successful so ls test and you'll see all the files that I have in my root folder so just unmount that one okay so ssh into node 1 then cd into the uh, cd to slash if you're in your root home folder it's going to complain that the root folder is busy so mount master colon slash root space slash root and then do the same for home and exp oh before you try to mount exports you have to make the exports directory well exports not export How can it be? How difficult can it be to remove a directory? So mount the exports folder from the head, well from master into the ex slash exports folder. Okay. Just do the same on node two. Mount. Make directory exports mount root mount head ah no mount home sorry and mount exports okay you'll see now that the password ssh isn't working anymore that's because nfs 
sometimes messes up the permissions of folders. So to fix that, we're just going to fix um, going to remount the folders in in a slightly different way. So first, just change to the root and unmount all the folders we just mounted. And then we mount it using the NFS type NFS and we say that the ver NFS version is NFS verse equals 3. And from there it's the same master colon slash root slash root. Now it might complain about a lock if you mount like this, and it does. In which case, just add no lock comma in front of the NFS verse. So if you mount again, it works fine, and then the positive says sh works again. So now just mount the other two folders slash home and slash exports, and then do the same for node two again. root for home and for exports okay well let's just test again positive SSH H work into each node they work from node to the other nodes and from the nodes into head node as well so let's just test if um, the NFS works correctly. I'm going to remove all these files from my home folder and ls again. Okay, so now I'm just going to log into node 1 and do an ls and you will see it's the same files. So I'm going to touch a new file, just call it hello, ls, okay, it's there and ls on the home folder, on the master and it's there as well. So just remove hello again and we'll see that it works perfectly. So NFS, SSH, NAT, and uh, yeah, part of this SSH and NAT is all set up now. Thanks for watching this tutorial. In the next one, I will um, compile MPEG. Thank you.